hello everyone welcome to the explanation so in my last videos i covered this uh, topic 10.5 till uh, issues and problems in engineering so today uh, in this video i'll be covering occupational health and safety and nea responsibilities of nea and hence i'll cover the topic i'll complete the topic 10.5 so if you have not watched my videos please go back and um, playlist and please watch my videos so let's go to the question so first question is occupational health and safety in, in engineering so first question is what is the primary goal of occupational health and safety in engineering so minimizing cost for engineering project no it has nothing to do with the cost second is ensuring well-being ensuring well-being and safety of workers yes so of course for occupational health and safety we have to ensure that the well-being of safety of work ignoring safety in regulation no promoting a culture of risk taking within the engineering or no so b is the correct answer let's go to question number two which of the following is an example of potential workplace hazard in engineering okay potential workplace hazard it says so properly maintained potential workplace hazard hazard means something negative so properly maintained and labeled machinery no well lit and ventilated work spaces no inadequate training and supervision yes regular safety and inspection no so as it is dealing with the negative workplace hazard so a negative option is okay for this so inadequate training and supervision let's go to question number three what is the purpose of conducting a risk assessment in engineering project okay to ignore the potential no risk, risk assessment means to see to evaluate that whether um, everything is okay or not so to ignore potential hazard no to expedite project completion without considering safety no to identify and evaluate the potential hazard and implement appropriate control measures yes this is known as risk assessment in engineering project let's go to question number four okay so question number four the option is already visible so which of the following is the responsibility of engineers regarding occupational health and safety ignoring the safety no minimizing the cost by compromising worker safety no promoting a safe work environment and ensuring compliance with safety hazard safety standards yeah so c is the correct answer next question is what is the role of ppe that is personal protective equipment in occupational health and safety okay so pp is something which is used to protect our employee or workers from any types of injuries or any types of accidents we can solve so it is optional and not necessary for worker protection no it is provided to worker as a fashion accessories no it helps protect worker from potential hazards and injuries injuries yes it is not used for any cosmetic purpose let's go to question number six what is the significance of conducting a regular safety inspection in engineering uh, workplaces okay so regular inspection means that um, we have to see that whether there is any hazard or not any you know safety protection or sa some safety like um, we have to address the safety or we have to see that whether the a uh, place is safe for the workers or no okay so what is the significance of conducting a regular safety inspection to disregard potential no disregard again is a negative word to expedite project completion without no to identify and address potential safety issues and hazard yeah to ignore the well-being of worker no so c is the correct answer let's go to question number seven what is the purpose of safety training program in engineering organization again that is same for the safety of the workers so to promote a culture of risk taking to minimize the cost by disregarding to educate the worker on safe work practices and procedures okay so training it deals with the to educate the worker so c is the correct answer let's go to question number eight okay so question number eight what which of the following is a common cause of accident and injuries in engineering work, uh, workplaces proper safety no if proper safety was there there would be no accident adequate training no lack of hazard identification and risk assessment so c is the correct answer let's go to question number nine what is the responsibility of employers regarding occupational health and safety in engineering so providing a safe work environment and proper training and necessary equipment okay so i think this is the correct answer ignoring disregarding prioritizing project timeline no so c is the correct answer let's go to question number 10 so what is the significance of reporting and investigating workplace incidents in engineering to ignore the potential causes no to prioritize personal interest over worker safety no 
to identify the root cause yeah what was the root cause for any kind of accident or failure so to identify the root cause implement corrective action and prevent the future injury so see the correct answer okay so let's go to another last topic for our 10.5 which is rules and regulation of nea okay so first question is okay so sorry uh, the last uh, topic has not been completed i have not uh, completed the theory uh, i mean this documentation part of that so last that is any rules and responsibilities of any i'll try to cover in next video till then stay safe and thank you